Hi, this is Clayton Dewey with Dev Collaborative. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the Paragraphs module. It's one of the most popular modules in Drupal, and I'm going to explain why and what it does. So a common scenario is to have a page on a website um, that has text, images, maybe an embedded video, maybe a quote style. Um, and for that to be controlled in a single body field with a WYSIWYG editor. And in the case of something like this, that is a single column and relatively simple layout and style, that works just great. So we can uh, edit this and take a look and see here's a traditional body field with a WYSIWYG where you're dropping in images and videos and styling text in a single WYSIWYG editor. Uh, where that starts to run into limitations is if you have a page that is a little bit more sophisticated and you've got, let's say, a quote style where you want a quote to be styled in this particular way and you want the person's name below it to be styled in a certain way and then their attribution um, to display like this. And, you know, you could try and approximate some of this in the WYSIWYG editor have a quote style, um, bold this name, italicize this, but especially with like responsive design and how different elements scale on the page, that can be hard to maintain in a WYSIWYG web editor. And you're starting to put a lot of burden on the author and you're starting to get into some messy HTML markup in some cases to make things happen. It gets even more complicated when you introduce something like um, an image gallery, some different styles for how images are handled um, and so on. So this is a great use case for the paragraphs module. So what a paragraphs module does is it introduces, you can create different paragraphs. Paragraph is kind of like a container of fields that, that belong together. So some of them might be simple like a button link where here we have a choice between a primary and a secondary style and, you know, a, a, a link destination and then some text for that button. And now we've got this paragraph. Um, uh, common ones are images, pictures with description, a quote. So let's open up that quote and see how that works. So in this case, all the author needs to do for the quote is put in the text. Don't have to worry about styling it in a certain way. That's all handled on the theme. The name and, you know, if you want to control a little bit of the markup, maybe you want to link to this destination, then you can do that. And then again, another nice thing about paragraphs is you can define some preset styles and it just works. Things like galleries are even more helpful. You can have a gallery title and then specific slides, uh, an image, the caption that goes with this image in this particular um, scenario. And so that way you've got, you're putting a lot less on the author to style things and letting them just focus on the content. And then here, you know, paragraphs as a nice drag and drop interface, you can collapse and expand the different paragraphs. And like anything Drupal, this is highly customized. You could have video paragraph on one site um, and not on a different site. These are all um, things that you can define for yourself. So we save this, we come back, we see here's, um, Here's that different quote style. We just had a select list for the author to change. They didn't have to mess with the markup in the WYSIWYG editor. So that's the benefits of having paragraphs and what they can do for your site. Thanks for watching.